Hey guys, this is my old Hobby Co. Aero Cruiser. Revived it not too long ago. Actually flies pretty well. Um, one thing I just did recently is I added some ailerons to this thing. Just basically cut the, um, the slots on each side of the ailerons and then put some servos underneath with double stick tape. Um, and made some push rods from some paper clips um, and then the uh, the horns for the control surfaces are just made out of a piece of credit card um, cut bent over put some holes in it and um, kind of taped it on and put some reinforcement tape over the top edge of the ailerons just as a safety precautions so they don't fly off during flight if that were to ever try to happen. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I haven't flown it with the ailerons yet but um, the other thing I did was I converted the motor over from the stock um, brushed can motor to a brushless outrunner motor and um, also put a lipo pack in instead of the um, the nickel metal hydride pack that used to be in it um, <clears throat> in doing this conversion I ended up having to add quite a bit of lead as you can see taped on there um, just to get it to balance out but it, you can tell in here I've got the I think it's a thousand milliamp uh, two cell lipo in there so um, actually works pretty good give you a shot of the um, the motor set up in a second. Alright, so this is what the motor looks like. Um, in order to get it to protrude through that cowling, I had to add a little piece of wood there to um, mount the engine to. Plus, that um, the plastic in the firewall is not very thick, so ended up um, countersinking some holes and using the original motor mounts on the firewall and that actually gives it you know pretty decent downward angle um, it, it's not angled um, to the right like it used to be in the can motor setup um, the motor mount for the can tilted the engine or the motor a little bit to the right um, but it still flies just fine I usually just hand launch this thing anyway so you can tell the nose is a little bit crunched up she's been through a few crashes that's what happens when you've got an underpowered plane that's heavy and uh, not much wing area, but the, um, the new setup works pretty well. Flies very good. I've had a few flights on it and climbs out no problem. Um, still glides fine, um, even with the, the extra weight I had to add to the nose. So I'm looking forward to trying out those um, those ailerons. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Bye.